Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Number Talks. Hey, today we're with my friends Yvonne and Ken, and they're going to talk to us about avocados. There were 15 trees in Yvonne and Ken's avocado orchard. There were five avocados on each tree. How many avocados were in their orchard? Hmm. What strategy would you use to figure that out? Okay, so I wrote down there's 15 trees and there's five avocados per tree. Where should I take this? Should I draw a picture? Should I do a standard algorithm? Or do it some other way? How would you do this? I'm going to draw a picture and do the standard algorithm. Follow along. All right, boys and girls. What I did is I wrote out how many trees that they have in their orchard. Remember, they had 15 trees and then five avocados per tree. So I have what we call an array or matrix. Do you remember how we can do this? Well, I can use the standard algorithm or I can do repeated addition. So I have 5 plus 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 5, plus five uh, all the way 15 times. Or I can count by 5s 15 times. Follow along with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. But is there an easier way to do that? Remember that five, five times is 25. Let's take a look at that. Okay. I saw that there was a pattern. Five and by five, so five times five is equal to 25. Now I can add up the 25s. 25, 50, 75. Is there a way to verify that using the standard algorithm? Yes. Let's work that out. So I have 5 times 5, and we're going to do a partial product here. So 5 times 5 is 25, and 5 times 10, remember, this is a 1 and a 0, because we already did the 5 there. So 5 times 10 is 50, and 25 plus 50 equals 70. So now we've verified several different ways. I want you to work it out a different way yourself. Please like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Remember that to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Next up is Ms. Foster in her first grade class, and we're going to find out how many cupcakes each of her students get.